Some people think that I'm crazy for doing my job, but I love my job. I love being able to help people. I love being able to let them know that there's something out there for you. You just gotta be ready to accept it. Outreach to me is being able to meet people where they're at and understand where they are within their crises, thing with homelessness, domestic violence, substance abuse, mental difference. Outreach is coming in contact with the homeless population, supplying them with things they need, tents, sleeping bags. Water, socks, hygiene kit, sack lunches, we get them with that, get them with clothing, shelter referral. Trying to let them know that they're not out there alone making them understand that there are options that are available to them to try to help bring them out of their crises. Going out in a team, everybody has something different that they can offer. Dorian is the calm one. Kelly is our little spice. Ian, he's the one we go to to get us fired up for the day. On my team, we do have people that have experienced being homeless and having addictions. I'm able to meet one-on-one -on -one with folks knowing full well that I can relate and engage them in their experience because I was once there myself. And let them know, like, I've been out here and I've been homeless and I've struggled with drug addiction and there's there's a way out. Like, you're not stuck. You can't reach these people if you can't have the same feel, the same talk, the same walk as them. So I feel like my team is the dream team. We get it done. That's how I feel. El equipo de más mejor en todo el mundo. It's the best team in the world. Today was a great day. It was so upbeat and so uplifting, talking to all those people who needed things, who wanted shelter, or who just wanted water for the day. We actually got three couples and a single male into shelter today. We had all of our shelter beds filled up by 10 o'clock this morning. When I get somebody into a shelter and, you know, see them like a week later or a couple days later and they're like, man, thank you so much. I see them, they're clean cut, they look nice, they smell good, they have shower food, they got a little bit of weight on them. So they're like, thank you because of you guys. I'm off of the streets. I ran into a guy, didn't recognize him, but he came up to me and was like, thank you, I'm housed. I'm doing my own thing, I'm working full time, and now it's time for me to try to give back. If I could have did a cartwheel, I would have. Like, I was so happy knowing that I was able to help change their lives around. Hard days are not being able to help somebody that was asking for help as far as like shelter and not having the availability. COVID has created a very big challenge for us. We were having to take some of our people out of shelter because we needed to do the distance. There's a lot of places that are not open for our population. We have to figure out how can we help them. It'll be so much easier if we can get funding to help more people than the few people that we do help. It helps us reach out more people helps us to touch bases more and, and provide the services that people need. People should give because each and every one of us is only a breath away from experiencing these exact same crises. We're not gonna be able to do it by ourselves. And the more people that we have, the more people that we can help. Donate to us, Transition Projects, helps us expand. Having a blanket over the city, having a blanket of, of providing services. Donate to us, we get it done.